Hello everyone, I am Melinda Nail Fanatic and this is my tarot donation for those who have the sign of Taurus in their astrological birth chart. And this video is in regards to the Taurus full super moon on November 14th, 2016. And so there is an introduction about the super moon that you can find in the same playlist where this video is found. And there's some other information in there that you'll find very useful if, if you wish to take the time to consider it. Anyhow, let me go ahead and get right into this reading. And I'm feeling to start with this, this deck. I've got several different decks here. We're just going to swipe because I'm holding my grandson with one arm here. We're going to swipe and pull. And the perfect message will come out for those with the sign of Taurus in regards to this Taurus full moon. So we're starting with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is about confronting negative thought patterns and beliefs and speech patterns and um, ideas that no longer serve you. And it's about moving on from them and taking action. And this is also about action that is uh, swift. This is about the balance of power. This is about balancing passion and uh, balancing emotion and uh, this is also very very indicative of moving quickly towards new goals so let me see I'm gonna swipe here and pull this one's standing out to me and that is the ten of swords so here we see somebody who is so trusting that they can stand with their eyes closed in knowing that whatever ideas come to them or around them, I'm also getting very much so surround them um, from external forces, other people, other ideas. It can't hurt them. Like this person is calm and centered and focused and grounded and standing there in a very beautiful posture where they've just decided that they're fine, that nothing can touch them, that they are healthy, wealthy, happy, and complete no matter where they stand. And so that's their experience. And let's see, we have pleasure on one side as a word of clarity. This is my custom words of clarity deck it's channeled specifically for me it was the first time i ever did it since then i've produced a couple of more decks um for consumers and these are available at your commission um so if you would like to commission the the designing of these decks it would be channeled specifically for you and so obviously it would be a one-of-kind deck and i usually get a lot more artistic when i do one for somebody else than when i rushed through the first time i even was inspired to do this so the words that are coming out are pleasure and restriction. And with the balance of neg negativity in the center and with the trust and confidence in the middle that I'm seeing, it's telling me that, you know, it's a time to balance ourselves between our pleasures and where we don't want to go, our restrictions. Where, what do we want in our life? It's time to get our thoughts right. Get our thoughts right. Not that there's a place that thoughts are wrong, but get our thoughts in a place that, and some of you won't understand what I mean by that, and that's okay. Some of you will understand what I mean by that, but there's no place where your thoughts are wrong. It's getting your thoughts in a place to where they're serving you so that you could go the middle road between pleasure and restriction to where it's satisfying, it's happy, it's joyful, and it's flowing, and it's it's trusting and it's it's balanced balance is so important it's coming so strong the word balance is coming so so strong to me in regards to this reading right now and so let me see what we messages here decision and decision to be made and trusting one's intuition and also with the king of cups there this is about uh, emotional mastery how you are look at how the emotional mastery is looking at this calm and balance and peace you have to make a decision to move out of restriction in to trust and that's 
going to help you move through any fears, negative energy, blockages that you're perceiving at this time. Give me one second. Let me grab. Okay. Here we go, baby. Granny got your bottle. Let's see if you feel like your bottle now. So trusting your intuition is very, very important for you at all times. But right now the universe is particularly saying, hey, it's time for you to confront this negativity, exhibit some trust, trust in what you know, understand that thoughts cannot hurt you if you are very deliberate about how you use them. You guide each one of these thoughts into the place that they are. You guide your emotional manifestations with the power of your intentions, focusing on your pleasures. You have the choice to focus on pleasures or restrictions. If you choose to focus on restrictions, you're going to bring more restrictions. You choose if the thoughts that are surrounding you while you're standing up against this wall in a trusting position are limiting thoughts or pleasurable thoughts. I feel like this card's supposed to go here. You get to choose that. Which way do you want it to go? It's all up to you. I'm going to pull from this Abukra deck for you. Oh, my goodness. This card, this is now the third time this card has come up. And it is a, the blank clean slate card, which means you get to decide what goes on it. Again. Do you choose a pleasurable train of thought or do you choose the restrictive direction? Which direction do you choose for yourself? Which way are you looking? What are you focused on? Because what you're focused on, you're bringing. This is a time to master your emotions, to master your thoughts, to master your vibration. That's what this is really all about, mastering your vibration. Your vibration is the sum total of your thoughts and your emotions and your words. That is your vibration. Are your thoughts, your emotions, and words more geared towards your pleasure or your restriction? Because you're bringing it. You're bringing it. You're bringing it. And what are you bringing here? We have the mentor of wands, which is about lessons, about our, our behaviors and our passions. Understand? And here we have the princess of swords, which is about guiding your thoughts to try to manifest something and to um, also receiving thoughts the receptive quality of thought so that you can lead to your success and so with the mentor of wands here it's like you're now using what you've learned about the experience of you you've had in your life in the past that caused you to live a certain reality in this conversation you're realizing where in the past on your blank slate you chose to put restriction and so it caused you to experience this certain restriction that you're tired of. So now what's going to happen is you're going to be receiving new ideas, which you're actually receiving some here right now, of how you can move your thoughts out of restriction and more into a pleasurable place. You can use your thoughts, and if it's for some of you, it's just going to be focusing on things of physical pleasure, it's going to be focusing on things of, that are seductive to you. Um, focusing on things that you can enjoy and focusing on them in a way that leaves you feeling free during those moments. And that feeling is going to help you move out of the restriction that focus will help you move out of the restriction. For me, it's the face of this little baby that I'm holding in my arm while I'm doing this reading and his older brother and my niece daughter. I have all these children around me. If I get to feeling a restriction, I immediately replace those restrictive thoughts with the thoughts of those who I love, who surround me. And so I'm very deliberate and picky about which thoughts I allow to surround me. And that's what you're being encouraged to do right now. Also, I'm getting the message that you need to make sure that you are as picky about your words, your thoughts, and your 
and your feelings as you are about the clothes that you wear and the way you style your hair and the way you put your makeup on and what colors you wear. People are so picky about these things. Um, and if you would be more picky about your feelings and your vibration, then it will allow you to live one that you appreciate even more. And so if you do this, what's going to happen is you're going to find a happy balance between doing what you believe to be right and also enjoying your life. And you will actually find that for some of you, it's going to cause you to change your belief systems. And that's a beautiful thing. That means you're actually getting really deliberate with which thoughts you're allowing yourself to be surrounded by and focus on. And that's exactly what we're wanting. So let's see, how are some ways that this could play out? Some of you are in a situation in regards to romance where you're feeling like mm, a little bit trapped in the situation and like you're not attracting the type of people that you're wanting. And so this is about you uh, focusing on the parts of the interactions that you've had that you do appreciate so that you can bring in something that is more stable, long-standing, more true, more honest, and uh, with longer-term potential for you because that's what you're wanting. For some of you, you've been in this for a long time, and the person is beginning to show some um, signs of jealousy and security and all this stuff, or they have been for a while for some of you. Some of you it's just starting and some of you it's always been that way and you've grown tired of it and um, you're also tired of all of the accusations that are being hurled at you and so now what you're going to do is look forward to uh, finding a way out of there because you feel like there's so many different people available to you but you married this person a long time ago and I also feel like somebody who is in a similar situation is also going to be bumping into someone who... Um, they used to know, but never kind of went there with, and it's going to be an intense desire to go there, which is going to cause you to start some things in motion, which will eventually take you to a legal separation or divorce from this person that you're actually with, and you will move on into a feeling, uh, a better place with this person because it is that strong. And uh, let's see what else we got. For some of you, a water sign man comes into play very largely, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And also for some of you, an air sign uh, child comes into play very strongly. That is, oh, this air, chi air sign child, which is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, these air, air sign children make you feel sometimes, child or children, can make you feel sometimes like you're in a position of restriction and not able to move. But the reality is um, you're creating the thoughts in, in the middle of it all. And so you can fill these thoughts in in a, in a better way, appreciating things about the circumstances you're in, and you will watch your reality begin to shift around you as everything begins to work out even to a greater degree. For all of you, though, you have a blank card here. What do you choose to put there? What do you want in your life? Love Source God is asking you to um, take time to make a list of the things that you want. Take time to uh, watch videos of places you want to go, to look at pictures of things that you want to own. Of um, Take time to appreciate those who you want to continue in your life. Take time to celebrate this moment of life, of all the things that are perfect in it for you at this time as you are currently creating more things by your own design and so I'm so grateful that you lined up with this video and I appreciate all of your words of love peace and happiness that you have to return to me and thank you thank you thank you love peace and happiness to you and yours and of course me and mine until next time